Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex. Now you can pick this one up from samsung.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 1,400 bucks. Now I know what y'all getting ready to say, but don't say it yet. We're gonna say it together in a minute. Now this one comes in one color, royal blue, and two different screen sizes. You got 13.3 inches and 15.6 inches. This is the big boy. All right, so let's go through the specs. Now it's running Windows 10 Home. The CPU is an Intel Core i7. You got a 15.6 inch Full HD touchscreen display. That's QLED. You got 12 gigs of LP DDR4 RAM. You got 512 gigs of PCLE 3.0 storage. You got reverse wireless charging, a Bluetooth S Pen. You got a fingerprint sensor. And since this is a 2-in-1 tablet slash laptop, you got the full flex motion. Hence the name Galaxy Flex. Now on a side note, I've been using this for over two weeks, so I'm ready to give y'all my full review right now. And let me say this, I got a love-hate relationship with this laptop. I pretty much love a lot of things about it, and I don't like a few things about it too, but there's one thing about this laptop that I absolutely hate. And I mean I really hate. Now, is it enough that I'm gonna send it back? No, there's a few workarounds. If you're ready to spend a couple of more dollars, you can solve that problem. But if you're buying this as your main laptop, you're probably gonna hate this thing that I hate too. We're gonna talk about that in a second. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Okay, so you got a plain white box. Y'all know I like a nice box. Who doesn't? Giggity. Here we go. Now inside the box, this is gonna be your Galaxy Book Flex, and you get some ejection tool, got your usual books and shit, I actually never took these out, let's plug them and file them, got a nice big fast charging brick, now this does feature fast charge, also the battery life is rated at 19 hours, we'll talk about that in a minute, let's see. This is gonna be your Bluetooth S Pen removal tool. All right, so if you wanna change the tip. And this looks like an OTG USB to USB Type-C. USB-A to USB Type-C. And that's pretty much it for that. Now, let's get to the Coupe de Gras, the Galaxy Book Flex. One color, royal blue. This is what it looks like. Let me do the smell test on this one. Yes, this is that Mystique Blue. Now on a side note, if you happen to be a OnePlus fan, check this out. Woo! Hold up, let me do that again. Woo! Look at that combo right here. All right, so if you're a OnePlus fan, <laughs> this is the laptop that you need. Anyway, let's open it up real quick. Now, one thing I will say, you can't open this with one hand. Well, you can, but you're gonna have to prop it. Like trying to open it like this with one hand, almost impossible. You're gonna have to prop it a little bit. Then you're gonna wiggle it. So it's a lot of liftage. Check out this keyboard. Beautiful backlit keys. Full touch uh, trackpad. Full touch screen display. And since this is the Galaxy Book Flex, watch this. You can lay it down flat. And you can fold it all the way around. This is sick. Now, before I give it, <laughs> get into everything that I like and everything that I don't like, let me clear my browsing history and let's get busy. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, just like any other product that I review, there's always gonna be some things that I don't like, so we're gonna talk about those first. And like I said, I've been using this for over two weeks, so I know what I'm talking about. Here we go, number one, the price. Now, remember I told y'all to wait, don't say it, Get ready to say it, all right? Everybody clear your throats. <clears throat> Let's all say it together. The price is too goddamn high. All right, Samsung, I need y'all to calm down. Y'all starting to get like Apple with these prices, and I don't like that. Now, personally, I think this laptop should have been 1,000 bucks, and the small one, remember I reviewed the Galaxy Book? This one should have been 700 bucks. Instead, this is 1,000, and this is 1,400 bucks. All right, now for what you're getting, it's pretty good, but 1,400 bucks, that's TGH. Next, color choices. It only comes in one color, 
royal blue. I don't like that. Don't force me to get a color. Think about it like this. Imagine if I was taking this to work. This could be my work laptop. I'm sitting up in the office. Everybody got their MacBooks and their services. Everybody looking all nice and neat on the table. This kind of looks like a toy. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't look as professional as somebody sitting down with a nice MacBook that's silver or space gray. They should have came with one official color, like maybe gray or black, even white, and then a funky color on the side, like maybe blue. A lot of people don't like blue, all right? What if you're a blood and you don't like the Crips? You don't want this, all right? Now, I'm just joking, but seriously, a lot of people just don't want a big blue tablet, especially maybe you got a red phone or you got a white phone. Now, if you got a OnePlus 8 Pro that's blue, then yeah. But me personally, this wouldn't have been my first choice. I would have, if, I, if, it, was, if it was only two choices, maybe silver and blue, I would have definitely went with silver, just like this. It could have been one choice like this and then one blue. I don't like that. I know that's kind of petty, but it is what it is. Next, speaking of petty, yeah, I know they call me Petty Roosevelt. So there's a few petty gripes I got to mention too. And here's one of them, the presentation. Now look, I said I've been using this for over two weeks. So I put it back in the box for the dramatic effect, but I put it back in the box exactly. I mean, exactly the way it was presented to me. Look at this. You see the bottom of the box? Looks like this. It was no seal on it. It's got this big sticker on it. Like it just looked, it just looked whack. Think about it like this. If you ever bought a MacBook or an iPad Pro, or even yesterday when I reviewed that Apple Magic Keyboard, remember it was all sealed up. The box looked crispy, like it just came off the factory showroom. This one, it just looked whack. You open it up, there's no stickers in it. You know, it's just the, it, it got a little piece of it. Where, where, where is it at? This little thing right here had this little thing on it right here. It's like, yo, it's like Samsung was basically like, yo, here go your tablet. Get out of here. All right. Yo, 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 here go your tablet. Now keep it moving. Yeah. Like they didn't really put any, any thought into the presentation. Now I'm a big presentation kind of guy, even though the box is going in the garbage and all that for 1400 bucks. When I unbox this, I'm being honest with y'all. When I did it in my house two weeks ago, I didn't have that excited feeling. I wasn't like, oh shit, here we go. You know, I wasn't doing none of that. I was just like, wow. Like first I was like, damn, is this used? Like did the box get damaged? Did it get wet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Now this could be just mines. Maybe, maybe y'all got it and it's looking crispy and all that. But mines didn't have no, no shrink wrap or nothing. I don't like that. All right, for 1400 bucks, present me. All right, present me like a boss. Let's keep it moving. Next. Storage options. Now this is how they get you. <laughs> this is how they get you. 512 gigs is the only storage version. What about the peasants? I right, what about the peasants like me that just want to use this for leisure? Right, we're not trying to be editing videos and storing a whole bunch of shit on here. We just want to use this, you know, just to watch videos and maybe send some messages, play around on the social media networks. We only need 256 gigs. I would have I would have gladly got 256 gigs and take off a buck or maybe a buck 50 from the price. Make it 1200 for the 256 gig version and then have the 512 gig version and then maybe a bigger version for y'all savages. Me, I'm a peasant. I'm trying to save money. They should have had 256 gigs instead of only one color choice and one storage option. I don't like that. Next the Bluetooth S Pen. Now we're gonna talk about that in a second. It's exactly it's exactly the same S Pen that you're gonna get on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Exactly the same. It's a little bit shorter though. All right, because I tried to switch them from the phone to the tablet. It's a little bit shorter, but the functionality is exactly the same. But here's the thing that I don't like about it. When you whip out that S Pen and you use it on your Galaxy Note 10, it works flawlessly. I right, 100% of the time. On this tablet, it's a lot of bugs and hiccups. Sometimes you pull out the S Pen. Now it's probably gonna happen when I show y'all the test and you're doing the gestures and they don't work. Now look, I'm not I'm not trying to bash something before I do my research. Like I never just get something that don't and it don't work and I automatically like, oh no, this is trash. I immediately take it to the forums. I take it to the reviews and read other people's issues. And a lot of people are saying the same thing. You can read them for yourself. It's on Samsung's website. A lot of people are saying that they had problems with the S Pen. Some people are saying that theirs didn't work at all. Now, I didn't have that problem, but I was definitely having bugs and hiccups. I'm looking like a dick. I'm trying to floss in front of everybody like, yo, check this out. Yo, you trying to whop and the whop don't work? Yo, you look stupid. Now, when I pull out my Galaxy Note 10 and I'm like, yo, check this out. Whop, 
Wop. Everybody, like, oh, oh, that's sick. When you're going like this and it ain't working, they're like, bro, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> nah, that kills the vibe, yo. All right, so this one, the S Pen, it's a little bit buggy. So sometimes I got to put it back in, reset the tablet, you know, just do a quick restart, and then it'll work again. I don't like that. I don't like that. Next, no face unlock. Now, it does have a fingerprint sensor, so not having face unlock is not the biggest deal in the world, but a lot of times, you're gonna wanna use it like this, all right? You're gonna wanna have it in tablet mode like this, right? So now you wanna open it up, you should be able to just swipe up and use your face unlock. The Galaxy tablet has it, all right? My Tab S5, my Tab S4, my Tab S6, they all got face unlock, and they one third the price for 1500 bucks this should have definitely had face unlock so you don't have to keep swiping up and then putting your pin in front of everybody. No, you don't want to do that. All right, Samsung, stop skimping out. This should have had face unlock. Next, this goes for the operating system itself. It's pretty buggy. All right, it's pretty buggy. Now look, I know when you're getting new products, you got to give it some time, but I hate spending maximum price and then having to wait for maximum performance. Like, don't tell me like, look, it's the same thing happened with the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5 Gangsta Alpha Omega Supreme, same thing. You go out and spend $1,500 on a phone and then you're telling me I gotta wait for an update for the autofocus to work. No, no, I don't like that. Because when I bought the phone, you wanted the full price. You didn't say, okay, look, uh, it's 1,500 bucks, give me 1,300 and then once we launch that update, you owe us 200. I'd have been like, all right, cool, cool. This one is kind of buggy. Now, Samsung tends to fix these little bugs and hiccups with the OS with updates, but I don't want to wait. I don't want my shit to be working fresh out of the box. A lot of times when you switch from laptop to tablet mode, it's a delay with the switch. It's a bug. It's a hiccup. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Next. Now, this is kind of petty, but I got to mention it. You can't open this with one hand. I right, trying to open this with one hand is impossible. Look at look at the front. <laughs> Y'all see that? It, it should have been spaced up a little so you could get your finger in there. I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you nobody's open this with with one hand. You're gonna have to go like this and then open it. So say I'm chilling in my living room, you know what I'm saying? I got a fresh bottle of lube in this hand. I'm getting ready to take it over to Pornhub and get busy. I wanna just go like this, open it up, and get busy. No, I gotta put this shit down, go like this, then open it. That's killing my vibe, yo, I don't like that. I don't like that. Next, now this is, this is my biggest gripe. All of that other stuff I just mentioned, little petty stuff, I'm just being, you know, I'm just being picky and being petty. I can live with it, I can work around that, but this thing right here, I absolutely fucking hate. Now, I know I don't like to curse in my videos, y'all know how I do, but when y'all hear me curse in a video, that means I really don't like something, and I want to emphasize how much I don't like it, and how much I'm disappointed in Samsung for doing this. Now, look, I got I got look, Samsung, y'all know, y'all know, I might be one of the biggest Samsung fanboys that y'all say, you know what I'm saying, y'all know how I do, I'm always bigging up Samsung products and all that, Samsung nice, yada, yada, wah, 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 but look, man. For me, Samsung is like a family member, all right? Let me give you a perfect example. Say you see your cousin that you haven't seen in three years, all right? You love him. You haven't seen him in three years. Now, the last time you seen him, he had a nice car. He was married. He had a nice job. He had money in his pocket, looking good. Then you don't see him for three years. And then when you do see him, now he ain't got no teeth. He stink. He ain't got no job. He's strung out on drugs. When you see him, you don't shake his hand and be like, oh, what's up? I ain't seen you in a minute. And then behind his back go, oh, man, yo, he look fucked up. You don't do that. When you see him, you tell him to his face, like, bro, yo, what's going on? Get your shit together, bro. I love you, man. Get your shit together. And that's what I'm doing right now with Samsung. Y'all know I love y'all, but y'all got to get your shit together with this one. The speaker. The speaker on this tablet is fucking garbage. I, it's pure garbage. Yo, well, let me let me tell y'all what happened. Let me tell y'all what happened. When I first unboxed this, and I was like, okay, the build quality, everything, I'm gonna tell you everything I do like. I opened it up, I was like, woo! When you see that display, I was like, let's go! Yeah. I'm ready to get busy. First thing I did, I take it right over to YouTube. I started playing some music, and I was like, yo, hold up. 
I was like, hold on. All right. Now, I did have a couple of shots of Hennessy, so I'm like, all right, what am I doing? All right, let me, let me, let me slow down, put the bottle down, take it over to volume settings, like everything is loud, take it to my phone, make sure everything, I'm like, yo, let me look, look, look at the manual, like, what's going on with this shit? Take it over to all of the settings. Now, look, I know some of y'all are going to say, oh, did you check this? Did you check that? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> all right, all right I, got a, I got a thousand and one laptops. Windows, Samsung, everything. Come on, man. All right, if I'm telling you that the speakers is whack, they whack. Now, if you want to see how whack they are, because I know some of y'all saying right now, oh, Floss, man, you just, you exaggerating. You exaggerating. They, 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 they can't be that bad, Floss. You exaggerating. I want to show y'all something real quick. Let me pull this up. All right, now check this out. I'm going to start off by doing the Galaxy Book Flex versus the MacBook Pro. Now, I know what y'all getting ready to say. The MacBook Pro got the best speakers in the game. I know. I know it's not fair. The MacBook Pro costs more. But just get an idea of what I'm talking about. This is only round one. Watch this. Here's the Galaxy Book Flex at max volume. Here's the MacBook. <laughs> Yo, it's funny, but it's sad at the same time. Here's the Galaxy one more time. Here's the MacBook. Now look, like I said, we all know that the MacBook got the best speakers in the game. Let's take it over to round two. All right, so here we go, round two. Galaxy Book Flex versus an iPad Pro. Here's the Galaxy. Max volume. Here's the iPad. Make sure this is max volume. Yep. Listen for yourself. Here's the Galaxy. 1400 bucks. Here's an iPad. <sighs> Let's take it over to round three. All right, so here we go, round three. Galaxy Book versus Huawei MateBook. Here's the Galaxy. Here's the MateBook. Here's the Galaxy one more time. Here's the MateBook. <sighs> Let's keep it moving. All right, now check this out. Here's the Galaxy Book Flex versus the Galaxy Book S. Here's the Galaxy Flex. Max volume. Here's the Galaxy Book S. Fourteen hundred bucks. Wait for that bass drop one more time. One thousand bucks. Here's 
You understand why I'm mad? Let me show you one more thing. All right, so here's the Galaxy Flex versus the Samsung Galaxy Tab, the 10 inch version. Here's the Flex. Here's the tablet. Come on, man. Why the fuck does a tablet sound better than a laptop? Listen closely. Hold up. Let that ride again. Here's the tablet. This is crazy. Now, I just want to see one thing for my own personal satisfaction. All right, now look. There's no way on this earth that a Galaxy Fold can sound better than a Galaxy Flex. Or could it? Here's the Galaxy Flex. Here's the Galaxy Fold. Here's the flex. Here's the fold. I hope y'all feel my anger levels increasing, but I wanna show you my fix for this problem. All right, so I just did a little fix on the side. Now let's try this again. Galaxy Flex versus the big boy MacBook Pro. Let's start with the MacBook. Here's the flex. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's how it's supposed to sound. Here's the MacBook. Here's the Flex. Now I know what y'all saying. Hey, how you did that? How you did that? Simple. Get a tri-bit speaker, <laughs> get two tri-bit speakers, rock them like this, and now we got audio. <laughs> so that's why I said, for me, it's not the biggest deal in the world, because when I travel, I'm definitely gonna slap these in my bag, and even when I'm in the bed, no matter what I'm doing, I can just have these on deck and get quality sound. Now look, if you don't got some of these, or you just don't wanna have a set of Bluetooth headphones on deck, or a big speaker on deck, and you gotta rely on the laptop speakers itself, look, I'm sitting down here in this quiet environment, and y'all hear that sounds? Imagine if you was outside, or imagine if you was somewhere where there's some noise at. This would drive you crazy. When I first unboxed these, I was upstairs, I had the TV on, I couldn't even hear these. I literally couldn't even hear the speakers on this uh, laptop. And I started getting pissed off. Then I remembered I had to try bits. And I said, okay, cool, let me calm down. But you see how it makes a difference. Woo! Yo, this, this makes a world of a difference. Let's talk about some more stuff now. All right, so now let's talk about everything that I do like, and I'm gonna try to make this quick. Number one, the build quality. The build quality is excellent. You see how sharp, sharp these sides and corners are? It looks like machine aluminium. I love it. I, the build quality is A1 and the look is A1. I, I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It's definitely high quality. All right, no cheap materials on deck. On the bottom, 
Got your little rubber stoppers. You can't open it with one hand, but once you get it open, it's, it's so quality that the flex is gonna stay at any angle. So if you leave it like this, you can write on it like this, like this, leave it flat like this, put it up like this, watch your movies in the bed like this. No matter what angle you do, it's gonna stay. So if you wanna draw, grab your S Pen, you draw like this, you don't have to worry about touching it and it falling down. Now if you get it too low, like maybe right here, this might be the tipping point, but ain't nobody leaving it like this. For this, you might as well leave it like this. But if you're rocking it like this, it's not gonna move. You could draw on it, take notes, do your thing. So the build quality, I'm definitely feeling. And like I said, been using this for two weeks. I've been rocking it like this in the bed. This is sick. All right, so the build quality is A1. Next up, fingerprint sensor. Now the fingerprint sensor works flawlessly, nice and fast. All right, I'm running low battery. All right, I have to charge this up in a minute. Let me wrap this up. Fingerprint sensor works nice and fast. Matter of fact, oh, I got a plug right here. Let me just plug this in so I ain't gotta be speeding. I did this, <laughs> I did this. Okay, fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. The keyboard, this keyboard right here, woo! The keyboard, the trackpad is immaculate, but the keyboard, when you type in, you hear that sound? This is my actual typing speed. I love it. When you're sitting in Starbucks, you're gonna sound like a boss. You pick up the phone, it's gonna sound like you're mad busy. I like this, I, I like it. No problems with the keyboard. The backlit keys get super bright. Like I said, it's a love-hate relationship with this tablet because I love so many things about it. I just wish they didn't cut the corners and I just wish it had some more features. Now check this out, real quick. Oh, matter of fact, even before I get to that, let me show you something. Oh, I got another phone on me, all right, cool. Galaxy Flex and Galaxy Fold. You hit function, F11. Turn on wireless power share. Bum! Charging up your phone. Yo, this is sick. This is sick. That's what I'm saying, man. Damn, Samsung. Damn you, Samsung. Con! My Star Trek fans understand that. Look, this could have been so dope. Now, once you're using the wireless power share, you can't use your, your trackpad anymore. But if you're just flexing and watching YouTube, how sick is this gonna look when you flex and charge up your phone? You got your Galaxy Buds right there. Come on, man. See, yo, this is sick. All right, I'm loving that feature right there. No complaints. Like I said, this could have been so dope. This laptop could have been epic. Let's talk about the S Pen real quick. Matter of fact, let me turn that off. So this way you can uh, activate your trackpad again. Now the S Pen, I don't have to go into full detail with this. You see you got your S View, uh, your pop-up window, exactly the same as the Galaxy Note. So you can create a note, you got view all notes, you got smart select, you got screen write, live message, and show windows. So, let's do a little S Pen activity right now. Let's hit play. All right, see now this is the swipe gestures. Swipe down, you see the volume is going down. Swipe up, volume goes up. Let's hit, uh, let me exit out of this one. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? All right, hold up, let's, uh, let's, let's hit a refresh on this. See, live videos. This happens a lot. When you switch over to tablet mode, a lot of times it just freezes. It just freezes. All right, let's see, uh, somebody got a new, somebody got the new, the big boy, yeah? Word? Okay, let's see the big boy. All right, let's hit pause on this. All right, so this works. Bluetooth S Pen, pause. Now keep in mind, it's Bluetooth, so you don't have to be like this, pointing at the screen. You can have it pointing upwards. <laughs> Do what you think. Now, volume up and down, double tap it. Skip to the next video. Press and hold it, mute the video. I mean, fully functional S Pen. We don't gotta go through all of the details. It works, all right, it works like it's supposed to. Sometimes, all right, let's put it like that. Sometimes it works, and then sometimes what you gotta do is drop it in the case, refresh the video. I know, this seems like a lot. Let's take it back out. All right, so let's try that again. Let's do a uh, smart select. You see? Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. 
This is the shit that I'm talking about. All right, look. Let's do no this time. And this is what I'm talking about. This, this shit been happening to me all week. Been happening to a lot of people on the forums, too. Let's take this out now. Let's try to do smart select. Nothing. View all notes. Nothing. Nothing. Let's uh, exit out of this. You see, I'm glad this is happening live. Let me, let me just check my tabs. I <laughs> Make sure I don't got big black ass volume six popping up. Here we go. All right, let's drop this in here. Take it out. Okay. Nothing happened. You see, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is the shit I'm talking about. When you pull out your S-Pen on your Galaxy Note, every single time, it's going to work. Now, let's take it over the internet. Let's try that again now. Okay. Should we take this out? Let's try to do Smart Select. Nothing. Let's try to do Screen Right. Nothing. <sighs> Samsung, man. I, I'm, look, I'm trying to remain calm. All right, because like I said, y'all family. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to cross that line. But this shit got me mad, yo. This shit got me mad because this is fourteen hundred fucking dollars. All right, now if it was a thousand eight hundred, okay, okay. Let's reset it. Let's keep. You know, let's restart it. Do this and that, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired of this shit, yo. I'm tired of this shit, yo. But you get the idea. When it does work, Bluetooth S Pen, the same that it works, the same way that it works on your Galaxy Note. When it doesn't, you're gonna look stupid like I did just now, going like this, and nothing's happening. Tapping on the screen, nothing's happening. But anyway, let's take it over to the internet. <laughs> let's take it over to YouTube one more time. Let me show you how beautiful this display does actually look when it's all working. Okay. Like that little, like that little five on F ninety. Don't look sweet. Yo, what's going looking buddy? sweet? All right, let's get it on. All right, ten eighty p. Today we're gonna be testing tonight. Who that handsome young man right there? All right, here we go. Let's um flip it up like this. Now this is this is where this tablet shines. Tablet slash laptop shines like this, yo. Watching your videos. What? The speaker is just garbage, so you're gonna have to get your little other speaker. But I love this 15 inch display. Now look, it might look, hold up. It might look small. Matter of fact, let's grab that S Pen. Maybe it wanna work now. Okay, you see? Don't do that, bro, don't do that. Let's hit play. Come on, you see? One button, look. One button tap for play. Play. Play, you fuck. All right, well, nah, all right, let me calm down. Let me calm down. But where this actually shines at, I know I'm about to rage quit so bad, I'm, I'm, I'm forcing myself not to. Where this shines at is when you're laying in the bed like this, yeah? All right. Got your glass of Hennessy in one hand. Got the Bluetooth S Pen right here. And you're going like this, chilling, skipping videos, skip to the next one. All right, the mute did work just now. Double tap. Come on, bro. No. All right, well, look. I want to show y'all something else, too. Let's uh, exit out of this. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's exit out of this real quick. I want to show y'all one more thing before I rage quit this shit into the garbage. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because I do like the display. But I want to show y'all something. Let's go to... Take it over to settings. Let's go to da, 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 da. Samsung settings. Okay. So you got your power management. Uh, you got your wireless power share, battery life extender. Let me talk about the battery real quick. The battery does last a really long time. Now it's rated for 19 hours. I'd say the way I'm rocking it on max brightness, I got 12 hours out of it easily. Let's go to network, blah, blah, blah display now check this out yo if you put on uh i know i say check this out a lot i'm sorry yo um outdoor mode yo when you put on outdoor mode do you see how bright it got it's already mad bright but you put on outdoor mode look at this that shit is mad bright but the only thing is it's gonna drain your battery mad fast now for audio 
Don't 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 get excited, y'all. I play with everything. Now you got auto mode, standard music, game, and movie. They all sound the same. Trash. Trust me. I tried all of them extensively. Extensively. All right. So you got your inputs. All right. Your keyboard backlights. Like I said, mad bright. You got your duration. S Pen. Okay. So look. So now your general it should be play and pause. Double press for mute. Volume up. Y'all see me doing the gesture. Volume down. Skip. Like this, you know, to whop the skip and, and skip back. Like, bro, it's just supposed to be the same way as you uh, use it on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The shit is just, it's just not functional right. So it's not functioning right. So Samsung, y'all need to update this shit ASAP. For the people like me that spent 1400 bucks on this shit, we need to update immediately. All right, immediately, not, not tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Not two weeks from now. We need it today, immediately. When y'all see this video, get busy. Let's see, you got your quick settings, and you got about. That's pretty much it. Let's see, did there anything else I wanted to talk about? That's pretty much it. Like I said, tablet mode is sick for watching your videos. Laptop mode is sick for doing laptop shit. But other than that, it's just too buggy. Like, I can't, I can't recommend this for y'all to get. I, I, and I couldn't recommend this in good conscience for y'all to get. You know, we all friends here. If I'm talking to my friends and they said, look, should I should I buy this? I would say no. Now, me personally, I like it because I got the two tri-bit speakers and I'm basically just watching YouTube videos. If I got to do real laptop stuff, I got the MacBook, I got the MateBook, got all these other books. This is basically just for the, the two-in-one flex motion. Look at it like this. This is like the, um, the Galaxy View. The Galaxy View is one of my favorite devices also. I use that in my living room. That one is bigger than this, but the problem with the Galaxy View is it doesn't have a keyboard. So now using touchscreen is fun and all that, but every now and then you're gonna wanna bang out an email or somebody's trolling you on your page and you wanna really go in, you know, when you when somebody really trolling one of your comments and you wanna sit down and, and drop like two paragraph bombs and their whole career, you need, you need a laptop. You need a keyboard in order to end somebody. Like when I'm ending somebody, I'm going in. I need to be like this. I'll like be talking to my daughter. She already know when I'm going in somebody's throat because I'm like this, yeah. Pause. I'm like this, yeah. She be like, Dad, did you see that thing? I'm like, hold on a second, girlie, hold on. She like, damn, let that dude breathe. I'm like, nah, man. Got to keep my foot on that neck, yeah. But when you just chilling, doing regular shit, yeah, you can do, you know, use the touchscreen. So this is basically like a Galaxy View, but a little bit smaller that has a working keyboard. Would I recommend buying this? No. But if you got money to play with and you like that flex motion, buy this. But do yourself a favor and buy these, all right? Now, the reason I say buy these instead of the Bose, let me clear that up. Because when I did that video, a lot of people were saying that the Bose sounded better. Basically, the Bose has a little bit more bass. But these sound more lively. They sound more vibrant. And not to mention, now when I finish char charging my laptop up, I plug this in and charge the speaker. You know how many times I was in Vegas with, with, with a tablet and my two Bose speakers and I didn't have a USB charger, the mini USB? That was so annoying. These now, you got USB Type-C, charge this up, charge this up, charge your phone up, and keep it pushing. So overall, on a scale of one to 10, I would say, I would give this, now y'all know my rating. I, my rating starts at MEH. My, my rating starts at hot garbage, trash, you know, the bad ratings. Then we start at MEH, like, eh. Then we go to day I. I would say my rating for this one is, it's all right. All right, it's all right. It ain't really nothing to, it ain't really nothing to, to go bragging to your friends about, even though the wireless power share feature is dope. The flex feature is dope. But once you start using it, if, if one of your friends was sitting next to you right now and you was going through all those struggles, they would be clowning you, especially if it was your friend that had a MacBook. Yo, the, uh, yo, true story. I know I'm rambling right now, but who cares? Y'all on lockdown. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do. Check this out. I'm sitting in front of my house with my brother. Now, y'all know my brother Mook, if anything that says Samsung on it, it's automatically garbage. Right? It's automatically trash. So I'm trying to I'm trying to sell my nephew my MacBook because I don't really use this shit like that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna sell you the MacBook. So he's like, bring it outside. So I brought this outside and the MacBook. 
So he's sitting there. He's like, yo, you got that Samsung junk? You should have got a Surface. I'm like, nah, check this out. So I opened it up. You know what I'm saying? I had the Bluetooth S Pen. I'm like, yo, watch this, yo. And he's like, oh, here you go. Because remember, I already heard him. I already heard him with the Galaxy Note. I heard him with the WAP with the Galaxy Note. He had to shut up. So I was like, yo, you remember that shit I was doing with the Galaxy Note? Watch this. Bong. I'm pressing the button. This shit ain't working. This shit ain't working. He like, yo, how much you spent for that? I'm like, ah, try to say it mad quick, like, you know, $1,400. He's like, $1,400? Oh! So I clowned me. I got roasted. Anybody that has Apple products and they see you using this and going through those struggles, get ready to get roasted. Now, this is perfect for in the bed, doing your extracurricular activities, you know, having a good old time, no problems. Not to mention... You know, somebody like me, I go through all of the problems just so I can do this. I, I just want to get one picture in Starbucks like this, yeah. That's all I want. One picture in Starbucks like this, and I'm good. But for you at home, do not spend $1,400 on this, please. I do not do it to yourself. Samsung, like I said, I love y'all. We family. Get your shit together, all right? I, I understand y'all. Yeah, right now, y'all competing with Apple. But y'all losing. Y'all losing in this department. When it comes to the phones, yeah, when it comes to the phones, you know what I'm saying, Apple? When it comes to the phones, y'all got to fall back. But when it comes to stuff like this, if I would have spent a thousand bucks for this, I would have been way less mad. You know what I'm saying? I would I would have been way more forgiving. But 1400 bucks, no. All right, no. It's all right. It's just all right. For 1400 for 1400 for $1, don't buy it. My rating is... Day I D E Y A I G H T Day I but don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. Don't do it to yourself. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy Flex. I know what I'm saying. Uh, I know, I know. I hope y'all had a few laughs in this video. A lot of people have been asking me to make a video about what's going on in these trying times and all that. And look, man, I did a video a couple of years ago. My thoughts and opinions from a couple of years ago are the same as they are now. So everything I said in that video, I mean the same thing today. People th people seen that video and thought it was from last week. That was three years ago. So it's really nothing new. Everything that's going on, been going on, it's just more amplified right now. All y'all cats out there, stop looting, stop stealing people's stuff. I don't like that. But get your protest on, yo. People want to hear your voice, get your voice heard. But stop stealing people's stuff, especially small businesses, people that work hard for a living. Stop stealing people's stuff. I don't like that. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy Flex, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys in lab. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Captain. Enterprise out. Energize. Ooh.